If he ends someone by saying the ungodly, they're not so, not so fruitful, not so blessed, not so happy. No, he compares them to the chaff that the wind drives away. Now, maybe you guys have never threshed wheat, um, but you've, maybe you've harvested blueberries. You ever do that? Go out and do your time on a blueberry rake. And when you do, you're raking with the rake. You're collecting a lot of other little tiny twigs and leaves and stuff that the blueberry harvester would consider chaff. It's the unwanted stuff. Now, the smart thing to do when you get your bucket full is go transfer it to another bucket somewhere where there's wind. Go somewhere where there's wind. And hold your bucket up high enough so that as you're pouring that bucket of blueberries down to this other bucket, the wind is able to take all that other stuff. It's amazing. The blueberry is heavier. It's got a little bit more substance. And so the wind doesn't easily blow it off course from falling into your bucket. But all those little leaves and all those little twigs, they get blown out. It's a great way to do it, rather than just picking them all one at a time. And that's what they did with the wheat in Israel. And that's why the writer, talking to people who know all about threshing out wheat, said they're like the chaff that the wind drives away. That is so the opposite of a tree planted by the rivers of water. It's the unwanted, you know, uh, organic garbage. And the wind blows it away. I don't want to be blown away. I don't want my life to be like that. Like chaff? The ungodly, they're like chaff. And therefore the ungodly not, will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. The way of the ungodly shall perish. That way of life leads to death. And the way of God and meditating on his word leads to life, blessing.